morning, crusty crew. It is January 7th and my chauffeur Nicholas and I are on our way to TEDx Salem. We're gonna go see TED Talks today. Live TED Talks. And there are some pretty interesting ones, so it'll be cool to see them. I think there's a lady talking about how we should eat bugs instead of meat. TEDx Salem is an independently organized TED event. So it's like all volunteers. Nicholas just pointed out to me that those are wheelbarrows. Session one just ended. It was cool. <laughs> I think all of the all of the talks are going to be posted online. I don't know. My brain's just kind of everywhere. I grabbed a granola bar. <laughs> they were really good. And then there was this 20-year-old giving a talk. It made me feel really underaccomplished, but she was wonderful. Like I want to be her friend. So, what do you think, Nikki? I like I thought it was fun and interesting. I didn't like yoga. Oh yeah, we did yoga, chair yoga. It was it was mostly breathing exercises and then like you rolled your neck around and contracted your back. It was, I felt relaxed after it. It's not too too big. It, it's small enough to fit like maybe how many people do you think are here? Ooh, that room. Uh, you could fit all of I don't know. Two I think all of our high school could easily fit there. I think like 200 are here. What? I don't know. I'm thinking like 1,000. There's no way there's 1,000 people here. Yeah, there are. There's a lot of people. So, And there's also a lot of things to do, so I want to kind of go check that out before our brains are like picked again. I don't know. I really liked it. I just don't know what to do with it because there's just so much all at once, but I loved it. It's great. I had no idea he was coming. What'd you think? Yeah, he's really good so far. Yeah, I, the 20 year old girl, I saw her and I'm like, Ugh, but I couldn't talk to her because I was too scared. Yeah. Look at how nice he looks. He's ready to network, whereas Nicholas and I are just here in scrubs. You're here having fun. Yeah. Yeah, I know, it was a surprise. I was like, maybe they won't know that we're here. Oh, did you buy tickets like after I told you about it? What did you think, Liz? Did you like it? Yes, it was pretty good. Yeah. Nope. We have pork and turkey here. We're all natural. Update the speaker that I said I wanted to be friends with. I met her and I hugged her, and we're both going to be like elementary, middle teachers, and now my heart is bursting, and I'm just so scared. Like, I love Ted. Break is over. We're gonna start session two. And we got better seats. They encourage people to change seats every time. So we should be in a different spot next time too. <laughs> it's lunchtime. I forgot to film the food because I was eating it, but it was very good. What it Tell them what was on the menu, brother. Um, there was a spring mix salad with quinoa that also had black beans. Uh, there was a, I don't know what it is, but it had like squash and chicken and chickpeas in it. 
and then there was sliced bread. My brother used to work in a fine dining restaurant, so he has like that tone and abilities to make anything sound delicious. Nicholas got the vegan one on accident, so he didn't get to eat any meat today. Anyway, so here it is. It was actually very good food. I liked it a lot. And then we're gonna start session three. And here's my brother and his girlfriend. Isn't he dressed to the nines? But anyway, they have couches and man-powered bicycles where you light the stage with, I don't know if that's just like an Oregon thing or a Ted thing, but either way, it's cool, so. So, let me make my way out to the light here. We are, I'm gonna take you on a tour of the Ted event, since it's finally not as crowded as it was earlier. It's the photo op area. And those are jerky samples right there by Crave Jerky, which is delicious. Water. And they have these really pretty lights up here, but they always have those. Make it feel really fancy and stuff. This looks like a radio station table. And then there is the registration table. Then the TEDx event. And this is the area. So as you can see, it's quite massive. <laughs> For Salem, that is. But honestly, this is probably one of the coolest things I've ever been to. And I will most definitely go to more TED events in the future. <laughs> just ended and it's very dark outside but it's not dark well not very dark at all well it's only like five and it's already like it's bright because there's snow yeah and now there's like a cup a few a couple inches of snow on the ground this is a one way you have to turn left yeah and so Ted's over and I'm just like overwhelmed with I don't know what this feeling is but it feels inspiration and shivers it feels really good. Oh. So if you have a city near you or a town near you that hosts an independent TED event, I'd say it's worth going because you'd be surprised how many remarkable people are in your community. Oh, wait, TED was amazing. I'll list all of the speakers and I'll list all of the speakers like right here. There were a couple videos though, so they weren't like live speakers. I think there was about three, so you can look up them too. Um, all of the TEDx Salem talks will be posted on the internet. At least I'm under the assumption that they will be. And there were there were quite a few that were very very good. And I'm just I'm just really I just feel like jazzed. I'm like I need to go do something with my life, which. I think is what TED is for. There is a lot of like, you don't have to be like a really like science or like techie person. There was a lot of different things there, which I feel like helps it appeal to all people. Go to a TED event, it's great. Gain like so many different ideas. And I think as a young person or a person in general, it's just really important to keep expanding like your thoughts and the range of your thoughts and to keep an open mind to other people and going to this event today kind of helped do that in a way.